Welcome back. Okay. Before we go ahead and do anything else, um, well, first of all, take everything off, watches, rings, whatever. But next, wash your hands. What I prepared here, pork belly. I'm making about five kilos of uh, rice, so I will need at least this is about one kilo for belly peanuts. These are dry, so I first of all soak it. Okay, now we got the water in there. That's gonna take a while, so I've got time to cut up these strips of pork belly into, say, about one inch dice. Because after after we boil it, it's gonna um, swell up a bit, one square inch. Okay, and I've got a, I need someone to help me cut these because. It's gonna make me really sensitive and start tearing. Uh, what else? Mushroom. The leaves, the bamboo leaves. Dry cream. And any seed and all these um, what is herbs? I need to um, chop them up and throw them in the pot. Okay, so okay, let me start dicing these things up first. GoPro stop recording. Okay. So that you see, that is the um cut shallots. Some of you might have called it shallots. Last time I called it shallot. Helen goes mm, what's that? Shallots. Very sentimental cutting it up. Let me see if it if it's hot enough. Just not not yet. Not yet. Let me show you that. Now it's time to get there. Okay. Let me throw the rest in bit by bit so it it doesn't burn. Uh huh. That's it. <laughs> the security guard outside is gonna start get hungry. I'll be walking around here in no time, pretending to be monitoring the neighborhood.
have to keep turning them around because obviously outside it's hotter because in, in the middle it's deep. I think I think I have to cook it try to look. I still got that much left. And I don't I don't want to use that much oil because actually you can reuse this oil, you can you can deep fry other things which it's actually is really good because um you better say, Oh yeah, I got a fish. Which I'm gonna deep fry soon after the with, with this with this with this um oil and and that fish is gonna smell like 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 these onions. Shallots. Okay. Right. Let's skip the middle bit and show you the the re result. Okay. Soon as it changes color, see that? Soon as it changes color, turn the fire off. It's starting to turn golden brown. Right? And then it will continue to dry on just for a little bit more. It's like it's like mass production now. Not that I use a lot because okay, I've got um um five kilos of of sticky rice and one kilo of um um dice big pork belly pieces. Um what else? Mushroom that will add up to about another from a half a kilo. Um peanut that's one kilo. Shit, that's a lot. What else? I need to get more <laughs> more bamboo leaves. Oh. I have to think of more people to share it with. <laughs> Maybe I'm making it too much now. Okay, well anyways, mass is good. Better than, you know, one dish and throw the rest out as rubbish. Okay? Uh, so, look at that. Golden brown. <laughs> Smells very really nice. Now, what? Clean the pots first because there's so, so many pots and pans lying around everywhere. But the missus come kill me. No room left for it to work. <laughs> so I have to clean up the place a bit first. Then um, see if the, the rest of the ingredients are ready. Once they are, I will put the, the pork, peanuts, and all those things that is pre cooked and really tender. Make sure they are tender first. So I can take out the, the stock and then use that stock to soak my sticky rice or glutinous rice and soak that for let's say about four or five hours so that's so, so that when we cook it it's not raw on the inside and cooked in the outside right now I got a space here that is simmering that I can leave to tomorrow because the pork and the mushroom and the peanuts and the and the dried shrimps. What else did I put in? Yeah, they must be really, really so tender, so so tender, so it um falls off the if there was any bone there, it should fall off the bone, but there's no bone. Okay, so I'm gonna go and have a beer, and I'll see you later. Again. Bye. Da, 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 da. Right, what I've got here is that is dried scallops, dried shrimps, prawns. It was a prawn, but then after they dried it, it shrunk, dehydrated, so it became like that. So that will be added to the stock. It's still simmering. Um, so that will make the the stock sweet. You can't use fresh prawn because it's just it's a totally different taste. After it's dry, it's got the that sweet fishy <laughs> sweet fishy flavor to it. So there you go, scallop. Scallops also shrunk. So the fresh ones to eat are bigby, but these are 
these used to be big until they dried it up and these prawns I think they should be about that big at least and the became this big okay so that's gonna be thrown in the stock as well because we're gonna you need to stock for the sticky rice we'll have a look at that it well, started to start raining drizzling and it's getting dark hope you can see this okay that's what I prepared previously okay it's got um we call that chopsticks mushroom that's cinnamon it's part of it. we're not gonna we're gonna we're not gonna put this in in our in in, in the with the sticky rice and that um, mushroom pork peanuts shrimp what else oh and then the slots we got put separately the stock is in there okay and finally we have to put this this is um bamboo leaves they come in hmm, how many sheets uh, looks like 10 10 and um we how, how do you how, how do we measure um the size of the sheet depends on how how wide it is because um if they're if they're small and thin you need about four or five leaves and you don't want that because it's just gonna weigh the whole thing down the bigger the better let's say last time mom she was killed she used only two leaves per you know per how do you call it rice they're not dumplings what is it called Bundle? I don't know, I'll find out. Anyways, yeah, so what I've got to do now is soak them. And for three, no, five, ten, it adds up to a lot. You know, because we've got rice, we've got these, and oh yeah, I have the egg yolk too to fit, to put it in the, in the middle. Uh, let me think. We will need five. All in all, about eight kilos of all this thing to wrap, and each of them would be about two hundred grams. Two five five forty about forty, say fifty. Fifty pieces. Fifty pieces. And on average three leaves each. Fifteen, hundred fifty. Okay, I'll need about fifteen, um, fifteen bundles of these um sheets, bamboo leaves. Fifteen bundles. I have to soak them uh, at least for about four or five hours. Next thing we're gonna do, we have to tie um like a a bunch of strings. In order to tie these on um, bazang bata. Uh, so, what I do is I've got a roll, roll of string and my arm is long enough. One to make 50 pieces. Maybe it's too crowded. So, I might. Um, have to separate it to two, twenty. It's too too much. Maybe three. Okay, so probably about fifteen. Yeah, so that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh,
Too short. Maybe a bit longer than that. Mm, roughly because I, I do two rounds around the around the button so it's gonna be about that long and leaving this much to to spread out as a as a radius yep one two three four five six seven okay right Jesus all right so <clears throat> you're gonna cut this blunt ass scissor That'll do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That'll do. Mm -hmm. Gonna put a hook through it. Tied with a rubber band. Voila. That's it. Okay. Now I open up the ends. Blunt as can be nice. Yeah. Okay, so I've got all these ends to to tie it up. And while I do that, I have to I have to soak the leaves. What? Who's calling Woody? Okay, six bunch of leaves. I'm gonna go soak it. Tada! Okay, so now it's soaking. I'm gonna use a bottle to push it down because it's gonna float. One side at a time, the sink is a bit small. Okay, let's go back to the top. Is it bubbling? Maybe there's a fish down there. Oh, that's ready. And after soaking the sticky rice, the amount is gonna double. <clears throat> so five <laughs> five kilos of sticky rice is gonna become ten kilos. Shit, I need to soak more bamboo leaves. Look like, damn it, forgot a, <laughs> forgot <laughs> forgot all about that. Mm. It's doubled in size. Shit. Well. Well. <laughs> I 
<laughs> and after I cook it, it's gonna double in size again. Shit, need to buy a fridge. Damn it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Find more people to help finish it. I can put the half a yolk each. These are duck eggs. Okay. Duck egg yolk. Half yolk each. Don't put too much and don't put too little bit, otherwise you can't taste anything. Capish? Okay. Next. Okay. My hands are clean. <coughs> okay, man. First step. This end. That is the stalk end. This is in the sharp end. Two. Because these are big, wide angles. Wide beach. Okay. One on top of another. Face top. Face down. <coughs> okay. Hold it. Hold it. Like a dad. It's very easy. Can you see it? Okay. Both the samurais. Some pork. Egg. Be careful don't put the cinnamon in. Some people like a more pork, so you can put more if you like. Fill him up, so he's about that much, like a cone. You see down there? It's like a cone. Okay? And then, <coughs> okay. Fold it this way down. Watch the edges here. Pay attention to the edges here. Okay. Push him down. And uh, squeeze it. Squeeze it. Squeeze it so it becomes a triangle here. An angle here. Here, an angle down here. And an angle up here. And on the top, fold them down again. Okay, release the thumb, and there you have one bazaar. Okay, that one is. <coughs> there you go. That you can cut it and snip it off with a with a pair of shears there. That's it. And I'm gonna tie him down.
I haven't done this for so long, so <laughs> it's taking me some time. But anyway, <coughs> that how it, that's how it's gonna look like. Wait, you see that? Wait, okay. Uh, one minute. Okay, we get to pair scissors. All right. Uh. You see? That's how it's gonna look like. <laughs> like that. Okay. Let me demonstrate for you one more time. You look, this time I've got a thin one, a skinny one. That one is wide enough, but this one is quite narrow. <coughs> so what I might do, I might add a third leaf. Just to cut me off. <laughs> In case. In case it's not wide enough, it's that the inside keep falling out, make it wider. Okay? Uh, right. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Okay? So same thing. Near near this end, near the, the end of the leaf, and that's the that's the stem. Okay? This end. Fold it down. So that nothing comes out the end. Okay, there's a little, there's a little bowl flat over here, so nothing falls out, and you've got a, like a cone, right? That's why I've got to put all these stuff in. Rich. Ah. Okay, mushroom. Pork, egg yolk, and some peanuts. Better with a bit more, more meat inside. and cover it with rice again so because the sticky rice around it will hold everything in because you've got all these outside like that some of these high people who sold who sold these but on the street they like to open it up and show what's inside but actually there's nothing inside it's all rice that's only for show but for us we like to make sure we have enough to eat in the inside as well the outside okay so we're not just doing it for show we're making sure that we've got good shit inside. <laughs> Not literally. Voila. Okay, back home, just as the previous one was. And fold him in. Pay attention to the two, to two, two ends. Okay. Pull them in and squeeze the middle. Squeeze the middle so it holds. You have to hold this flat down here too, and make sure these two ends, uh, that and that, that part and this part, is folded in. So when you squeeze it, you have you have that flap to fold and inwards again towards yourself, me, not you, me, myself, and voila. Okay, I have to hold it tight because if I release it, it's gonna. <laughs> I have to start it all over again. Now I'm gonna tie it up.
having teeth helps. But well, excess can just fall in here, it's okay because when, when we when we boil these these um, things up, these leaves will make a good smell, will leave a good smell for the whole the whole pot. So. It's good to, you know, not, not throw them away. Actually, I have a lot of these. They even use bamboo leaves to tie them up. <laughs> just throw them all in the same pot, just for the smell. There's a lot has got a lot of skinny leaves. I prefer the the wider ones. But they hold a lot better. These ones you need three of them. And sometimes they they fall them between the leaves too, so it's not, it's not I don't know really not too happy with it. Although that's the only way to do it. If if say the, the next lot comes all with skinny ones and you have ten skinny leaves. <laughs> Crazy. 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 Crazy for feeling. Birds, they eating, they they eating woodies much. He's very generous, that dog. This is a big one. Too big. Too big is not good too. It's hard to tie. You know. Hope it doesn't fall apart.
Oh my God. Imagine the people have to sell these every day. Shit. <laughs> it must be damn tiring. Yeah, I'm tired. I tied three of them up, I'm tired. And I've got another maybe 47 to go. <laughs> what say you? For those of you who are who are, who is already um, um, reserved two or three pieces, remember this. Watch this video and look how hard it is. Look at how much time I've uh, and effort I've put on it. Shit. Okay. I'm gonna give myself a beer first. GoPro stop recording. Okay, the final stage. Look at that. The idea is okay. Normally, when we when we boil our stock, we would um, we wouldn't put the stock, I mean, our, our bones and stuff in yet, and wait till the the water is all you know, boiled up. And then we throw in the bones because what we're doing that way is to seal the meat in and all that you know all the cooties don't come out of the bone and go into the soup and just cloud the soup up this on the other hand is another way around because if we have the water boiling from the start and we throw in these these pieces of batang in that will seal the the outer layer of um, the, the sticky rice and the heat won't penetrate in and you will have raw raw whatever is in the middle will be still raw you see so this way we start boiling the water along with all this you know that the constancy of the heat goes in it doesn't see anything from the start it will, the heat slowly will, will sink into the this batang and the whole thing will be cooked even okay you get my drift that's that so the important thing is we do not wait till the water boils then throw it in we throw it in at the same time you know then turn out to get the, the, the heat and slowly slowly cook it this is gonna take some time because I think like, I wrap it quite the bundle is quite big. Big bundle. Is it called a bundle or a piece? It's not called a bundle. Because it's on singular. <laughs> okay. Let's see what happens. Okay. Um twenty minutes has passed. So let's take a look at this. Why? Steam. You see that? Uh, you see what's in this? So steamy. Can't see shit. Twenty minutes. Uh, have a look at that. Have a look at that. That one exploded. That one should be... You can have it. That one too exploded. You can have it. Alright, so... Yeah, they will be the odd exploded ones. I know, because um, yeah, not all of them are perfect. None of them are <laughs> hey, shit. At least they are all intact. Okay. Not bad, not bad. 
I know perfect. I mean, I am no expert, but still, still good, still good. Not complaining. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I have to taste it. Good morning. That's the result. Okay, so after a whole day of hard work, back breaking experience, that. That is the result. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, they're all not all that perfect. Um, there's a few exploded ones. Alright. But anyways. I believe in myself. They're around about 50 or 60 of them. In total. There's some more in the... In the um... In the pot. Too heavy. Too heavy to lift them up. I have to hang it up for, for them to dry and dry out a bit because they're, um, they're pretty soft. And the best way to keep them is to uh, put them in a small, separate them into, you know, singles in a small plastic bag. Okay, the difference between um, the difference between between uh, boiling them and um, steaming them. Okay, boiling them is for when you're cooking them. These start starting from raw. But when when you when you steam is only when you are gonna warm them up. Like these are cooked already. You can throw them in the, in the freezer and whenever you're hungry, take one out, check it in your rice steamer and steam it. Uh, because you cannot steam and then assume that it will cook. Because if you use steaming as a me method of cooking, then it won't cook. The steam is not not um, not powerful enough to, to sink the heat in that thing. Even boiling too. Keep checking it whether it goes in or not. So, it takes experience. I'm not that experienced yet, but <laughs> I'm never a bit pleased with the result yet. So, okay. And we're gonna bring that to the temple out there. Yeah. Hopefully, it can ease some hunger for some people. Thank you for watching and see you again in the next book. Bye.